stage. Yeah. That's awesome. Hi! <laughs> Hi, Brett. <laughs> so it's that kind of night, isn't it? Yep. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it is the end of what we performers affectionately call nightmare season, uh, which is a combination of those of us who work haunts. A couple of us in here, a lot of our circus performers have been absolutely everywhere, including dressed as the devil at a Jewish wedding. Um, we have been, it actually happened. It, it's, it's just been an incredible run. We've been very lucky, but we're all kind of stumbling back to reality now. And I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to catch up, and I'm trying to get my head back in the game. And I, I had one thing in the midst of all of it that I've held on to. I, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago when all of this started that I, you know, the fact that you're working a lot is great, but it's not enough of a victory when you're down in the trenches. It's not enough to make you, make you care at all. Uh, you need something to motivate you because you really can't tell if you're, if you're making a dent. Um, one of the things that the circus freaks have been working on is we've been doing some outreach work. We've actually been working uh, with at-risk kids. It's kind of a, a really new program. A lot of times they'll send clowns and performers into schools, but the idea of going into um, you know, homes where kids are really, I mean, they're on that teeter point. There's, there's no other way to put it. And having a, a teaching performer actually work with them is a, is a new kind of revolutionary idea. And we got involved in a project that allows us to do that. And we, we kind of piloted it up, not really thinking about the fact that it was going to peak about the time we got into the Halloween season. So I found myself alternating between being the devil and being a clown for really, 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 really troubled kids, which is sort of like standing here. It really is. It's exactly like it, honestly. But I'm going back and forth. I'm going back and forth through all of it. And I, I have to remove a lot of names for obvious reasons. But I wanted to tell you one quick story before we started the show. There was a kid I met. And I'm going to be honest, I, I, I was an ass when I was a child. I was, I'm as troubled as you think I was. And this kid was me. I mean, there's no other way to put it. He was on that path. And he was mad and he was acting out. And the first time I met him, well, I can give you a quick rundown. Um, there's a clown here named Calamity, who's a, who's a very young girl. He grabbed her butt. It's a strong choice. Um, he spit water all up and down my back in the middle of a show. And then at one point, he actually grabbed a handful of pumpkin, which meant he had to open a pumpkin up, carve it into a jack-o'-lantern, grab a handful of pumpkin seeds, walk up to me and go, hey, I give him full merits for the rage he inspired. I, I do. And yeah, I'm not, you know, where was I? I'm the guy who went, yeah, I want to kill him. I want to strangle this kid. And then it clicked, oh yeah, I, this is that moment that why I'm there. This kid has probably never met an adult that had an actual conversation. I know when I'm in school, you know, I've been in school, it's like, shut up, sit down, do your thing. Or when you're working on a project, it's the same thing. And anybody who meets me now pretty much says, shut up, sit down, do your thing. Uh, but... The, the kid was in this, in this real teeter moment, and I was standing there, and I said, okay, I'm going to approach this differently. And I walked up, and I took a really stupid risk. I walked up to him, and I said, I want you to know you spit water all over my back. And you grabbed her butt, and you, and you, you threw pumpkin at me. <laughs> and I have to go do another show, soaking wet, covered in pumpkin, while she complains about her sore bottom. And I want you to know I'm not mad at you. I'm not happy but I'm not mad at you. And that's what I said. And I said, I'm going to come back in a couple of weeks. I hope, I hope we can be friends. And as I walked out, I saw the kid have this sort of blank expression. And I realized, I know that expression. That is, please stand by. My worldview is rebooting. <laughs> like that. And I, I went on, and I did a few more things, and we came back. And of course, we came back in time for their Halloween, they were doing a little Halloween festival. And we came back and there's, there's witches and ghosts and goblins and all this stuff. And we walk in ready to do our little clown show and I see a purple wig shoot by. Okay, don't really think about it. I see a purple wig shoot by carrying trash. I don't really think about it. I'm doing my thing, I do my show. And finally the purple wig bops up to me wearing full clown makeup because there was a face painter there. And he goes, hi, I just I want to say hi, I got to go help out, and ran off. 
the teacher that runs this program is this guy named Bubba. Bubba has the patience of a saint. I do not. He walks up to me and he said, all I have heard for two weeks is can I borrow a clown wig and when the face painter comes, can I get my face painted so I can be like the cool clowns? And of course you say yes. And of course, at the end of the day, we went on a hayride and we were done halfway through the day, but we stayed for the rest of the day and we went on a hayride with these kids because I've never been on a hayride. That was awesome. But more importantly, <laughs> my buddy and I were hanging out. I think sometimes when we are in the trenches of these big, enormous projects, we, we go looking for wins. We go looking for, you know, the, the paycheck, the payoff. And we, we stop thinking, are we making a dent? I know there are so many amazing creative minds in this room. I know many of you really well, and you guys are brilliant. I'm going to tell you this because I, I didn't know, and I learned it in the last month. The things we do make a difference, and we are making a dent. And I figured if there was any place I could come and tell as many geniuses as possible, it would be right here at the open stage. Welcome.